It is 519 in the morning, and here's what it looks like live on our ADOT camera of the 202, where it meets with the 143. We have very light traffic over there in this area, so great driving conditions. When we take a look at the big picture, we do have a lot of green early this Monday morning on Arizona's birthday. We are good to go all across the valley. So also, if you're getting ready to head out to your sweetheart, you should make it to them right on time because we have no major delays. However, if you want to wait till 730 a.m., we will see a little bit of traffic in the West Valley on the I-10 eastbound as you approach 50. 9th Avenue and that'll continue towards downtown Phoenix. We'll be in the orange zone moving about 35 miles per hour. We'll also see some busy traffic on the 17 southbound Durango curve until you reach 7th Street and then we'll also see busy traffic in the North Valley on the Loop 101 heading east as you approach the 17 and it'll continue till 7th Street. So that's what you can look forward to for 7:30 a.m. I'll keep you updated if any accidents pop up this morning. Got, Got it, Vanessa. Thank you. <laughs> All right, it is 549 in the morning and we have a live picture from our ADOT camera. This is in the West Valley. It looks like we have a stalled vehicle on the I-10 westbound near the 107th Avenue entry ramp there. We don't see any flashing lights and it's a dark vehicle, so drive with caution as you're trying to get on that part of the freeway and I'll let you know when that clears up. But speaking of the West Valley, we still have this Buckeye closure, the I-10 westbound off ramp. And the eastbound on-ramp is still closed at Miller Road. It will continue all the way until March. It's all due to that widening project over there. So go ahead and use Yuma Road to get around that one. Now let's take a look at the big picture. We do have a lot of green all across the valley, but we see a little bit of traffic building up on the 17th southbound as you hit that stack there. We're in the orange zone, moving about 35 miles per hour. I'll check that out and see what's going on over there and let you know. Rachel? Thank you. I'm taking a live look at our ADOT camera here of the I-17 in Camelback because during my last report, I saw some orange on the map, so I wanted to see what was going on. No accidents to report, but we do have a decent amount of traffic actually in both directions on that part of the freeway there. We're back to the yellow zone, so that's some good news, but we do see some traffic building up as you're heading towards the Durango Curve. So I'm going to come up coming up in my next report. I'm going to give you a look at our future cast for 7.30 a.m. Rachel? We appreciate